In this video, we'll start talking about singularities of complex functions. Now, what are singularities? Singularities are points where the function is no longer analytic, no longer holomorphic. And it turns out there's two broad classes of singularities. The first one, which is the topic of this lecture, are the so-called poles. And then in the next video, we'll talk about branch points and branch cuts. But let's focus on the, the poles first. So how can we figure out if a certain function has a pole type of singularity at a point z0? Well, what we should do is we should develop that function in a Laurent series around that point z0. So we're going to write down f of z is the sum of m going from minus infinity to plus infinity a sub m z minus z0 to the power of m. And then to figure out whether we have a pole and what type of pole that we have, we should look at the lower bound of this summation here. Let's say that our lower bound is, uh, is finite. So if you have a finite lower bound, and let's call that bound minus m, with m a positive number and minus m then a negative number, if, if that's the case, if your Laurent series starts at a certain negative power of z minus z naught, then we say that you have a pole of order m. Okay. So let's give a simple example. If you have the function f of z is 1 over z, in this case, the function is very trivially also its Laurent series. So you can see here that uh, if we develop that Laurent series around the origin, the most negative power of z that you find is z to the power of minus 1. In this case, we say that the origin has a pole of order 1, or also called a, a single symbol, uh, single pole. Okay. Um, if we have a function f of z, which is 1 over z to the power of 6, 6, 6, let's say, then we have a pole of a devilishly large uh, order. Obviously, if you don't have any negative uh, powers of z minus c naught, then you're in the clear, and then you don't have any uh, singularity, any pole at that point z naught. Okay, so far, so boring. This was the case for finite lower bounds here in the summation. What happens if there's no finite lower bound, but if the negative powers of z minus c naught go all the way to minus infinity? In that case, we're not talking about a pole of a certain order, we're talking about an essential singularity. So if that's the case, you have an essential singularity. If you want, that's like a pole of order uh, infinity, but people typically call it essential singularities. Do these things exist? Obviously. So in order to convince yourself that they do exist, have a look at the function f of z exponential 1 over z. Pause the video and develop that function in the Laurent series around the origin, and then indeed verify that the Laurent series have an, has an infinite number of negative powers of z. Writing down that Laurent series is not so hard, we just use the definition of the series expansion of the exponential, which is a sum of m going from 0 to infinity. The argument of our exponential to the power of m, so in our case that's 1 over z to the power of m, and then we divide by m factorial. And then you can clearly see, because m goes all the way to plus infinity here, that you have uh, an infinite number of negative powers of z. So this is an essential singularity. Another important difference between essential singularities and finite order singularities is that for a finite order singularity, you can simply get rid of them by multiplying them with a certain power of z minus z naught. So if you multiply that by z minus z naught to the power of m, you get a new function which no longer has that, uh, that singularity which is a trick that you cannot play with the essential singularity because then you would need to multiply with z minus z naught to the power of infinity, which does not make a lot of sense, frankly. Final thing I want to mention about these essential singularities is that even the limit of the function there is not well defined. 
actually you can show that in a small region around that essential singularity, your complex function will actually take almost all possible complex values. So that's very interesting. The limit is not defined. And to give you an example here, this is again uh, the origin, and this is our function exponential one over z. And the color here represents the phase. And you clearly see indeed that it varies wildly. So very pretty pictures coming from these essential singularities.